Welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing well. I thought I would start another weekly vlog. It's currently Thursday the 11th. I should know that because it's Valentine's Day on Sunday, but I thought I would do a little like weekend vlog, show you what I get up to over the next few days. Also share a little mango haul with you all at the beginning of this video. So I'm gonna kick start the video by sharing these pieces with you all. They're like very spring, but I am still gonna tailor them to my winter wardrobe at the moment. And then moving into like spring, summer, I am just so excited to wear these with like denim shorts and like when I'm going to the beach and things like that. So yeah, anyway, let's kick start and share with you all. I stay there for spring, summer. This it can be winter because it's a really lovely knit. So I'm gonna leave on the screen here the little try-ons that I did, starting with this gorgeous, so soft, cuddly, knit with the lovely like creams and pinks and blues I love pastel colors at the moment I love adding like a bit of color into my wardrobe and I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous and would go really nicely with like cream jeans or blue jeans or moving into spring summer with like a pair of denim shorts when it gets a bit cooler in the evenings and that kind of thing so went for this one I'm wearing a size medium so I sized up one size I just find that sometimes the fits at mango can be a bit iffy for me so I sometimes just size up just in case so I went one size up in that just so it's a bit more like slouchy on and it's so soft like not itchy whatsoever if any of you out there are like me and you hate <laughs> itchy knits then this is really really lovely and I just started with my blue Levi's which I recently got from Amazon from Amazon guys <laughs> they are incredible like I don't know why I never have had a pair of Levi jeans in my life up until this moment because the fit is like just a dream really recommend checking them out or checking out some of the Levi's that Amazon are doing at the moment I'll leave them like linked down below but yeah styled with my Levi jeans and then styled with my cream jacket my vans and a pink scarf to kind of tie in the pinks but also could like tie in the blues by just wearing like blue jeans blue shorts like chunky trainers and that kind of thing as well and then next up another little pastel colour to add into my wardrobe. This really gorgeous like knit polar neck top. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and I don't really have much yellow in my wardrobe either and it's something that I usually like stay away from but I thought yellow is such a nice bright fun colour and goes really nicely with like charcoal greys and blues so currently wearing it with the Levi's here but I also am really enjoying styling it with my like charcoal straight leg River Island trousers as well. I feel like the colours go really nice nicely because it kind of brings out the blacks in outfits as well so really love this it's a lot thinner than I expected it's a bit more of like a sheer kind of material if I show you with like my hand in there so I feel like it would be perfect for like having as like a little spring as we're going into spring styled with like little denim shorts as well because obviously in the UK it doesn't always get crazy hot I'm hoping it does I'm not going to say it's not going to because fingers crossed we have a great summer on the way but I just really loved the yellow yellow colour of this and just thought it was gorgeous. I stayed with my normal size in this and went for a size small as well for reference. And now for the fun two outfits which I guess are a little bit more spring summer but I'm just ready for it. <laughs> I know so many of you have messaged me like India we're not ready for summer yet like it's all spring it's snowing outside and I was just like I know but I'm just getting excited about warmer days and I think as soon as the lighter mornings have like started I've just kind of been feeling a little bit more ready for spring and summer and last week we had like one sunny day in Brighton and I was walking around doing going well going to get the food shop and someone was playing like really loud disco like dance music out of their car and it was really sunny and I was like, if I just close my eyes for a second, I could be in summer in Brighton <laughs> with all my friends around me. And I was just like, I'm just gonna imagine that. So I think that's kind of what happened. But on the screen here, I'll leave the little outfit, this amazing ribbed like bodysuit. It's got the little poppers at the bottom, but I love this like rust orange color. I think it really gives you that nice glow to your skin, which I love. I think it goes with all hair colors. I think it's just beautiful. And then I got these shades. <laughs> 
this is going to be like a love or hate kind of moment for a lot of you I'm sure and people in my life but these remind me of my grandma and my grandma is just such a babe she's 84 now and she just still is so glam and she has glasses like this and so I was like I'm just gonna get them and see whether they suit me and I actually really like them personally not everyone's cup of tea but I thought the colors together like the rust and then also this really nice kind of tan tortoiseshell shade is just a really nice combo as well but I love them <laughs> I think they're fab. I love like the big frame. I also um, FaceTimed my dad and I was like, do I look like grandma? And he was like, oh my goodness. So yeah, me and my grandma look quite similar when when we were younger, I think. So um, yeah, these are inspired by her. But with the bodysuit, really nice stretch and just a really nice kind of comfort fit. It's really stretchy as well, but really supportive. I'm always a bit worried with like low back bodysuits like this that you can't wear a bra always obviously you can wear a strapless bra but i prefer not to wear a bra with them and so if the fabric's too loose i find that it isn't very supportive if you're not wearing a bra but this is great because it's that really nice kind of thick stretch so you've still got that comfort but it's holding you in at the same time if that makes sense and lastly this was a little bit of a gamble i'm actually currently wearing it but it was a little bit of a gamble because i wasn't really sure if it was going to be as nice on as how it looked on the website but i'm so glad i actually ordered it because i wasn't going to i was just like i don't don't need it like i don't know what i'd wear it for don't know if i'd wear it in spring summer but i'm obsessed <laughs> this is so gorgeous it's this really nice kind of like woven material so it is actually quite thick so i feel like with boots and tights at the moment and then layered with like coats scarves and like little hats is a really nice way of kind of styling it for the colder months and then also styling for like date nights in the future i'm actually really excited to wear this with high top converse in summer because i love going a little bit bougie sometimes and dressing up and spring summer is like the best excuse used to walk around in your favorite dresses so love this i'm all for shoulder pads i just think the structure is gorgeous i think it can always make a look very tapered which is also really nice as well but just such a gorgeous piece and i just love the way it's been made and then i just started with my brown high knee boots because i thought that would kind of tie in nicely with the shades as well but yeah <laughs> that is the little haul I did to add some pieces into my wardrobe and style them lots of different ways over the next few months. So I thought I would just kickstart the video by sharing that with you all. I have been filming all morning. It's currently 1pm. I do need to go out and shoot an outfit in a minute, in about an hour for work. So I'm currently going to run and see if I can get to Sainsbury's and buy a little like hamper like little bits for a little hamper for Jay as a little kind of like Valentine's Day gift. We don't usually kind of like celebrate it massively. We just kind of watch movies and eat food and that kind of thing. I feel like it's just an excuse to get like super snuggled up and just binge watch marathon movies and things like that. So I do really want to get him like a little hamper of like face stuff and bits of food and snacks and treats so I'm gonna go do that grab my lunch and then yeah get ready to go and shoot I'm gonna shoot the well I think I've got one job for a pair of jeans and then I'm gonna shoot it with the knit that I just shared so I'll leave all pictures that I take on the screen here as well but yeah gonna go and just do a quick little afternoon walk get some air get a little snap and then come back and do some work but I will show you guys what I get up to Hello lovelies, so I just got back in from heading to the shops. My hands are so cold, like it's freezing out there. I feel like when I'm cold, sometimes I can't move my mouth properly. That's really weird, but I like smile and my top lip is numb. Really weird. Anyway, <laughs> I'm back from the shops. I wasn't so successful, I'll be honest. I got a few little bits, but I'm about to make some baked oats and I saw this on Holly Mercedes Instagram and so many people have been making it and it just looks delicious. So I thought I would give it a crack myself, give it a go. And it's basically one and a half cup of oats, one ripe banana, two tablespoons of milk, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one teaspoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then you can kind of like choose your filling. So I've gone for Tony's milk chocolate because Tony's is the best. And then I've also gone for raspberries. So that's what I'm gonna do in my one. I'm gonna put it in the blender, blend it all up together and then put it in the oven. I'll probably time-lapse showing you it just because my washing machine's on and I 
you don't need to be hearing the loud washing machine so in the next few slides you'll see me making it and we'll see if I'm as successful as when Holly posts hers because hers always look so tasty so fingers crossed because I'm craving something quite sweet today I'm feeling not 100% so sweet things to make me feel better <laughs> morning guys so the last thing you saw was the baked oats which were delicious they was it was so good I ate half of it and actually made my first, myself feel a little bit sick because I yeah it was a lot it was a lot of chocolate in there I did like stuff it full with like free bars but I highly recommend making it I will leave how to make it down below and then link Holly's Instagram because it was inspired by Holly and yeah she has done like some really nice different like combos of like blueberries and white chocolate and lots of different things like that so that's where I found the recipe originally anyway but it's now Sunday yes I am seriously bad at doing this vlogging thing and picking the camera up every day I was just filming the last few days for work and getting like lots of deadlines done and then me and Jay just had some nice days just kind of I guess we just chilled out went for walks did some work <laughs> Yeah. hung out and today is valentine's day so we're doing our like same old sunday walk coffee food run and that kind of thing but i thought i would take you with us today we're also going to be making pizzas i was really kindly sent like a pizza making kit and it's really like high tech so high tech so. high tech high tech I kind of mean like Robo pizza. it's high tech um I mean like it comes with everything the kit that you get and it, there's just a lot of elements you can make like whatever kind of pizza you like with this amazing sourdough bread but Jay got me some really lovely flowers which are downstairs so I'll show you Winnie and them but yeah we're just gonna go for a walk now I'm in this really gorgeous cult studios little set if I've got a picture I'll leave it on the screen here but it is just so cozy and I'm in about like I've got a vest, two t-shirts, roll neck on because it's, is it like minus one outside or something? It's cold but it's not that cold so. And it was like minus one yesterday and me and Jay went for like our big two hour walk and our hands and like the wind, it was just making us cry afterwards, it was a lot. But um, today I think it's one degree. Four. It's four? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I'm going to be hot. <laughs> anyway, going to get in my duvet coat and yeah, we're going to go get coffee and I'll take you guys along. <laughs> so we're back from the walk now but I wanted to show you this what Jay got me for Valentine's it's basically called an Udi and they are literally like the fluffiest snuggliest things ever and it's got the friends like characters and sofa and lobster the I love you lobster and the pizza and it's just insane so we just got really cold from like a two hour walk so we're back and I'm just warming up in my UD and I'm obsessed so I'll leave this link down below Jay said also that they come with loads of different like designs colors and like patterns and stuff so yeah super snug and yeah ready for my Sunday gonna go make pizza is the pizza ready come here come then say hello you're gonna be nice and say hi now rather than earlier you just love the UD Pizzas, flowers, <laughs> Winnie, <laughs> yum, oh my god it smells amazing. So lovelies, that is the end of this weekly like little vlog. I know it's been so random. I feel like all my vlogs are gonna be quite random over the next couple of weeks because every day is just like work-based and I'm just doing loads of random bits. But the last few clips were just like Sunday evening and afternoon with Winnie and with the pizza. And then I came home and filmed my hair routine, which was gonna be part of this vlog, but it was 30 minutes long. So I split the two. So if you wanna see my full hair routine, what I do in the evenings on a Sunday, how I 
I like curl my hair the next day with what products and that kind of thing that is coming just after this video so I just felt like it was better to split the videos in two which is why this ended quite abruptly but I hope you're doing good and I will see you in the next vlog and video lots of love guys Mwah. bye